Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In January 2023, the Defense Equation Council has given acceptance of necessity for three capital equation proposals, two for Indian Army and one for Indian Navy and total worth was Rs 4,276 crore. The DAC accorded AON for procurement of Helena anti-tank guided missiles, its launchers and associated support equipment which will be integrated into advanced light helicopter LH Rudra. The DAC has also accorded acceptance of necessity for procurement of v infrared homing missile system under design and development by DIDO. Further, DAC granted approval for procurement of BrahMos launcher and its fire control system for Shivali class of ships and next generation missile vessels for Indian Navy. Now, as per the recent reports, Indian Navy is going to place order for acquiring 200 more BrahMos missiles, which would be equipped on all frontline warships of the maritime force. The proposal is at advanced stages and is expected to be cleared by Defense Ministry soon. BrahMos Aerospace is going to play a vital role in achieving 5 billion export order target set by Prime Minister Narendra Modi by 2025. Pramos has already received its first export deal, which was with Philippines and worth 375 million. Many more countries are also interested in the acquisition of this missile, and we would see few more deals in coming years. Now, second update is regarding the Indian Air Force Mi-17 helicopter, which had made an emergency landing. The Mi-17 helicopter with 20 airmen on board made emergency landing in Lohavat area of Jodhpur on Sunday afternoon due to some technical glitch. As per reports, two Mi-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force had taken off from Jodhpur Air Force Station for Falodi Air Force Station in Sunday afternoon. About 2.30 pm, one of the helicopters developed some technical glitch and resorted to emergency landing in the village Pilwa. The chopper had 20 airmen on board. A technical team fixed the glitch in the helicopter and chopper was able to take off after an hour of delay to its destination. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.